In this video, I'm going to explain the meaning of direct variation and determine the relation between two variables for direct variation. For direct variation, if a quantity y varies directly as quantity s, then the value of y increases when s increases at the same time. The value of y decreases when s decreases at the same rate. For example, Miss Lau want to buy carrot selling at RMS per kilogram. State the price if she buys 500 gram of carrots. 500 gram of carrot is half kilogram. So, the price will decrease half of RMS per kilogram because 1 kilogram RMS ringgit. If half kilogram is half of the RMS. B. 3 kg of carrots. The price increases 3 times of the RMS per kilogram. To know further, let us look at example 2. The distance traveled by a car y kilometer varies directly as the time as hours. We can write as y varies directly as s. So this is the symbol varies. We can draw like this. And also it can be written in equation form y equal ks. What is k? k actually is a constant. So to know what is constant, let us look at this example. The distance traveled by a car y kilometer varies directly as the time as hours with a constant speed of 70 km per hour. As we know, the formula for distance is distance equals speed times time. So now the speed is a constant speed. So if we write in equation is y equals 70 s. So this is k. This is constant. After you know what is direct variation, now we are going to learn how to determine whether y varies directly as t or t squared. Okay, so now for example 3, a toy car moves from a state of rest. The distance traveled by the toy car y changes with time t as shown in the table below. Determine whether y varies directly as t or t squared. Hence, write the relation in the form of variation. If we look at the table, what is this? y over t. Actually, this is constant. How to get the constant? When we write the variation, y varies directly as t and we write it in equation. We can write it as y equal kt. So, we will move over the value of t to the left hand side. So we obtain k equals y over t. So actually this is the value of k. So we need to check whether all the constants same value or not. If all the value of k are the same, means y varies directly as t. Okay, so now we count one by one. 
Okay, so here the first one, 14 over 2 equals 7. The next one, 28 over 4 equals 7 also. 42 over 6 equals 7. 56 over 8 equals 7 also. 70 over 10 equals 7. 84 over 12 equals 7 also. Okay. Now we check the second line here, y over t square. So this is from y varies directly as t square. So we write in equation y equals kt square. So we want to find the constant. So k equals y over t square. Okay. So again, y is 14. T is 2, so 2 square is equal 1.75. Here is 28 over 4 square equals 1.75 also. Now 42 over 6 square equals 1.17 56 over 8 square equals 0 0.88 70 over 10 square equals 0 0.70 84 over 12 square equals 0 0.58 Okay, so now based on the table, we can make conclusion y varies directly as t because the value of y over t is a constant. Hence, y varies directly as t. So if you look at here, y over t, you can obtain the value of k is equal 7. For the second line, y does not vary directly as t squared because y over t squared is not a constant. If you look at the value here, only the first figure and second figure constant, but the third figure already different. So that's why y does not vary directly as t squared. For example 4, by drawing the graph of y again as, determine whether y varies directly as s. So when you draw the graph, you will obtain the straight line like this. The straight line does not pass through the origin. The origin is 0, 0 here. So, y does not vary directly as s. Now we look at b here. By drawing the graph of y again as squared, determine whether y varies directly as s squared. So now the value of s here, you need to square it. So you draw the table like this, S square, K, and Y. So when you plot the point and you draw the line, then you can see the straight line passes through the origin here. So conclusion is Y varies directly as S square. Example 5, it is given that y varies directly as s and y equals 20 when s equals 5. Express y in terms of s. 
To answer this question, first, you need to change the variation to equation. So y equals ks. So you add the constant when you write the equation. The next step, you substitute the value of y and s to find the value of constant. Okay, so 20 equals k times 5. The value of k is equals 20 over 5. k equals 4. So now you express y in terms of s. y equals 4s. So you just substitute the value of k in the equation. B. Calculate the value of y when s equals 5. So now, you need to find the value of y. You need to use the complete equation with the constant. Okay. So now we use y equals 4s to find the value of y. So substitute s equals 5 into the equation y equals 20. Quite simple, right? Okay, now let us look at example 6. It is given that y varies directly as square root of s and y equals 6 when s equals 25. A express y in terms of s. Still remember how to do it? First, we need to write the variation y varies directly as square root of s. Next step, we need to write in equation y equals k square root of s. So you need to add the constant. So now, you need to find the value of constants. So you substitute y equals c is s equals 25 into the equation. C is equals k square root of 25. Square root of 25 is 5. So 5k equals c. k equals 6 over 5. So now we can express y in terms of s y equals 6 over 5 square root of s. Okay, so now B, calculate the value of y when s equals 36. So we will use this equation to find the value of y. Now, substitute the value of s equals 36. y equals 6 over 5 square root of 36. y equals 6 over 5 times 6. y equals 36 over 5 or you can write as 7 1 over 5. Okay, now we are going to discuss the last example for direct variation. It is given that P varies directly as Q power of 1 over 3 and P equals 20 when Q equals 125. A. Express P in terms of Q. So first, we write the equation P equals K Q power of 1 over 3. And still remember, we need to find the value of k. So we substitute the value of p equals 20. The value of q equals 125 into the equation. 20 equals k cube root of 125. As you know, this one, if power of 1 over 3 actually is equal to cube root. 
So cube root of 125 equals 5. 5k equals 20k equals 4. So now we express p in terms of q. p equals 4 q power of 1 over 3. B. Calculate the value of q when p equals 32. So you just substitute p equals 32 into the equation. 32 equals 4 times q power of 1 over 3. So you move over the number 4 to another side. You will obtain q power of 1 over 3 equals 32 over 4 equals at k. So now you need to find the value of q, not the cube root of q. So opposite of the cube root is power. So Q equals at power of 3. Q equals 512. That's all for today. If you like my teaching, please like and subscribe my channel. See you.